A Lake Island Mary is stranded on an island in the middle of an enormous deep lake. She can't swim and doesn't have a boat. The nearest town is on the shore five miles away from her. All she has is three ropes, each of them are two feet long. Three hours later, Mary reaches the town. How did she manage to escape from the island? Well, it's winter, and the lake is frozen. Mary simply crossed the lake on the ice. A fellow traveler James was traveling by train with only a light backpack full of money. He was going to help his mom buy a car. On the train, he got acquainted with Mr. Brown. The two men had a nice chat, but then James dozed off. When the train arrived at James Station, Mr. Brown was nowhere to be seen. James picked up his backpack, and although it looked exactly like his, there was no money inside. The bag was filled with screws and nails. James rushed after Mr. Brown and saw the man carrying an identical backpack. After James called over a police officer, Mr. Brown explained that he had taken the wrong backpack by mistake. The police officer still arrested him. Why? Mr. Brown couldn't mix up the backpacks because the one filled with nails and screws had to be way heavier than the one with the money. An unfriendly shop owner. Jacob owned an electronics store in a small town. One day, a massive crowd of people showed up, and no wonder. A new $1,000 gaming console had just hit the shelves. Jacob was swamped with sales from morning till late evening. Just as he was about to close, a man rushed in to make a purchase. He asked for a console and handed Jacob two bills. He had enough money to buy the console, and it didn't even need change. But the store owner immediately called the police. Why? The console cost $1,000, but the man gave Jacob only two bills. It means they were worth $500 each, and those don't exist. Twins, but not twins? Bill and Joe are twins, born just one minute apart, with Bill being the older of the two. But for some reason, they celebrate their birthdays two days apart once every several years. How is this possible? Bill was born at 11.59 p.m. on February 28th. It wasn't a leap year. So Joe, who came a minute later, was born on March 1st. That's why during leap years, they have two days of difference. Dangerous Escape Jack is locked in a room with two doors and no windows. There's nothing inside but a chair, a table, and a tiny hole in the ceiling. Behind the first door, there's a venomous snake. The second door leads to a glass tunnel that magnifies sunlight. If Jack steps inside, he won't survive the blazing temperatures. How can the man escape? Jack has to wait until it's dark outside. He can check it through the hole in the ceiling and leave through the glass tunnel. A magic ball. You throw a ball as hard as you can. It doesn't bounce off anything, and there's nobody else there but you. Yet this ball still comes straight back into your hands. How can this be? If you throw the ball straight up, it will eventually fall back down. Anne's Bizarre Food Preferences Anne likes tomatoes, but not potatoes. She eats grapes, but not lettuce. She loves peas, but can't stand onions. She can eat cucumbers, but avoids carrots. Can you figure out if this picky girl prefers apples or pumpkins?
Anne will always choose a good orange pumpkin because she only eats fruits and veggies that grow on a vine. Philosophy students conundrum. You're a student, and you have an important philosophy exam today. Big stress. You, like most of your peers, haven't attended many classes or learned anything this semester. When you come to the exam, the teacher puts a chair in the center of the classroom and says, None of you learn my subject, so everyone will have the same chance to pass it. See this chair? Write evidence that it doesn't exist. The person who convinces me of this will pass. Now, setting aside the fact that the teacher sounds just like the spook in the first question, what should you write to ace the exam? The correct answer is… what chair? A dangerous fall. Mary was standing on an 80-foot-long ladder with a bucket of paint. Don't ask me why. Suddenly, she slipped from the ladder and fell to the ground. But besides spilling all the paint, she didn't get injured at all. How come? The ladder was lying on the ground. A tough choice. There are only two barbers in town. One has neatly cut hair and a clean workplace. The other's hair is wild, and his salon is pretty dirty. Which one should you choose to give you a haircut? Choose the second barber. If there are only two of them in town, they have to give haircuts to each other. Also, the mess in the second salon might mean the barber's too busy serving customers to clean up. A creepy well. Richard was returning home after a long day at work. He was walking through the park when he heard footsteps behind, and everything went dark. He woke up in a well. Luckily, there wasn't too much water in it. But as soon as Richard tried to climb out of the well, he realized that the walls were too slippery. He then noticed a rope with a bucket tied to it. The bucket was hanging pretty low, but try as he might, poor Richard couldn't reach it. After giving this problem some thought, though, he found the solution. Just 15 minutes later, he was out and running to safety. Can you deduce how Richard escaped? He took his shoes off and threw them into the bucket one by one. The added weight brought the bucket down, and Richard managed to escape. A menacing house. Michael got lost when he was mushroom hunting. Yeah, those wily mushrooms are full of cunning. After hours of trying to find his way out of the woods, he came across a house that seemed to be deserted. He decided to try his luck and ask for directions. When he entered the house, the door slammed behind his back with a loud bang. He heard an eerie voice. You've entered my home uninvited, and you won't leave it easily. Michael found himself in a room with three doors. The voice sounded again. Only one of these doors leads to freedom. Behind the first, you'll find starving wolves who won't think twice about making you their dinner. The second door hides millions of venomous spiders. If you open the third door, you'll be met by a raging fire. Choose wisely. You have only seven seconds to find your way to freedom. Michael should choose the third door. He'll then just need to wait until the fire goes out. Tricky math. How many times can you subtract 2 from 50? Only once. After that, you'd be subtracting it from 48. The power of prediction. Mr. Jenkins doesn't have any superpowers, but he can predict the score of any football match before it begins. How?
you could do that kind of prediction too. The score of any football match before it begins is 0-0. Life is unfair. After a particularly heavy snowfall had let up, Daniel went outside and discovered that there was twice as much snow in his yard as in his neighbors. But Daniel didn't look surprised at all. How come? Try to shovel your way to the truth in the next 7 seconds. There's no mystery to this whatsoever. Daniel's yard is two times bigger than his neighbor's. Penny Riddle Why are 1990 pennies worth more than 1989 pennies? Well, for the same reason why 10 pennies are worth more than 9. These are not years, but the number of pennies. An unlucky skydiver Nick was an experienced skydiver, but one day, something went terribly wrong. A strong wind blew him into the forest, and the man found himself among dense trees with no food or water. Soon, Nick saw four roads in front of him. One led to a supermassive black hole that was swallowing everything around. The second ended up in a river full of piranhas. The third road led to mountains that were impossible to climb. And the fourth road ended in an infinite abyss. Which path should Nick take? He should follow the third road. No one said he had to climb over the mountains, he can simply go around them. <laughs>